hey guys it's candy welcome to my channel so today we're doing an unplanned spontaneous video yes as you can see her hair is already braided up but i'll get back to that so i'm gonna go in and make sure to condition her scalp um, with my one true natural shine of my nourishing oil blend first off and make sure to rub that in and also because of the thinning of her hair i'm also gonna be adding some jamaican black castor oil from our product line also you know just to make sure to address those issues and help to um restore thickness and um, stimulate growth all right so guys the moment of truth this is the hair we're working with today and as you saw in the title this is human hair crochet hair all right i've never seen anything like that and that is why i was a little bit hesitant about recording because guys human hair usually is a pain to install because the hair is usually so silky but with this new technology or whatever you call it technique that they used to make this hair that extra piece of thread that is in the middle of both pieces of hair is game changing i was honestly questioning how possibly it was for that tiny piece of thread in the middle to hold and not snap and pop and yeah but guys it works let me tell you so first of all um the hair is 20 inches long and it's in the color dark brown number four and the usual we're doing um our regular install but for the first one i knotted the hair twice but i quickly realized that one knot is more than enough so once i insert the crochet tool and make the knot once i slip that hair and tighten it it is enough so this is how it looks even though i'm trying to tug on the hair it is not stretchy at all i did see online that they do have some ones that are made with like an elastic type um bridge but this one is literally a thread all right and as I said, you tighten it one time and it's giving me sewing vibe. Like that is how nice and flat the hair lies once you install it. And um, yeah, so we're going to just go ahead. I did do the beehive in the back because the beehive, um, as opposed to just braiding all of the hair back, especially when the client has a thinner hair, you want to make sure that you do the beehive so that it allows for more coverage. Because what I find with straight back cornrows, especially when there's thinning, is, is that there it's harder for you to fill those gaps. And so, of course, that is why I did the beehive. All right. So I'm just going ahead and um, installing the hair as I go along. Like, let me tell you, this is the easiest hair to install. I don't know how. It's even easier to install than regular synthetic um crochet braid here all right so once you do that you pull the hair through i sometimes use my fingers to pull the hair through the loop that is created and then just use it to tighten or sometimes once i pull the hair through with the crochet tool i just use the crochet tool to hook the end of the hair and pull it through with the crochet tool but either one works but i think i prefer the one where i do it with my hands but I was, you know, just getting used to the techniques or, you know, to the options. So I was doing both interchangeably. All right. All right. So this is how it looks so far. The curl pattern is beautiful. Okay. Let me tell you. And when I tell you it is butter soft, it is feather, literally feather soft and feels light. However, it does not look spacey it's pretty full but it just feels super soft yeah all right so this is where we're at so far after you know filling in all of the beehive portion and now we're going to be um actually doing the front part of her head so we're just continuing with the process and i did use four packs of hair guys four of these packs are what i ended up using for the full head each package, I think, comes with three um, bundles or three um, individual packs. So she did order two 
packages so she got six packs we only used four i'm not sure if they do sell single packs whereby you can order one package with three and then one single but i guess when you're doing your purchasing if you're interested to purchase then you will see how it is sold i will definitely leave the link down below to this particular hair for you guys so that you can you know try it if you so choose all right so i'm here talking about the hair the whole time and i have not told you the name of the hair it's by qvr it's water wave micro ring loop feather human hair yes it looks more like a deep wave to me but it says water wave so it is what it is all right so at this point i'm creating the invisible or the knotless part so i insert the crochet tool on the outside of the the part and then insert the crochet here as i normally would yes However, the next step in order to make it look invisible or knotless is to go on the inside of the part and insert a crochet tool. And then I'm going to anchor one piece of the hair to the crochet tool and pull it through and then allow that to fall over the braid. All right. And then that gives it the knotless or the invisible look. And guys, please do not pay attention to the 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 size of the parts the bigness of the parts the wideness of the parts or any of that just pay attention to the technique all right because that's this is what we're working with but i'm just showing you guys how to do the installation all right so that's a thread and i'm pulling both pieces of the hair through and making sure to slide it down to make sure it's tightened and then i'm gonna go on the inside of the parting mm -hmm. insert the crochet tool from the inside of the part and attach one piece of the hair to the crochet tool close the latch hook and pull it through and allow it to fall over so you notice it's starting to cover the the corn row right there mm -hmm. that's what we're trying to go for all right and then once I'm done with installing the knotless um, part on the, this side of the hair or this side of the head, then I'm going to switch and go over to the other side and make sure that I do the same thing. But yeah, so after I'm done installing the knotless part, I'm going to go ahead and try to do some teasing. As you guys notice, the parts are very spaced out, you know, very wide and i explained before why and so we're going to be doing some teasing and this hair guys i believe that they make the hair with teasing in mind i don't even think they intended for you to use it for a knotless method because i realized that the hair was shaved closer to the roots of the hair it had you know loose short pieces that would allow you to um to do the the teasing so I tease it a bit and now I'm going in and trying to create um, some baby hairs and um, yeah, so we can show you guys the finished product. And guys, this is how the hair turned out. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love the texture, love the curl pattern, love the fact that the hair is super soft, feather light, and didn't show any signs that it would tangle easily. So that is a win when you're dealing with any type of crochet hair. Yeah. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in your comments down below what your thoughts are about the hair. What do you think about the, the technique? What do you think about how the hair is made? Would you try it in your head? If you're not yet subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you will not miss another one of my videos. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll talk to you on my next one. Bye.